ni Syafiq The KE1 will be different Later kan interview apa semua Ada lagi lah How do MOHR see All the concerns That have been raised by businesses Earlier about this legal wage They have said repeatedly That they are not against it But they wish the government would be paying it later Because they are dealing with inflation uh, high, cut, uh, high high prices of uh, cost of living or what not And also workers issue And everything else you see, that, that, that was their concern earlier, but now taking into consideration the current, uh, see a lot of changes. Our economy is doing better than uh, expected. Even Kadar Pungongon, if you look at the unemployment rate, now we have almost reached about 3.9%. Uh, I, I, I consider this is as if there's no in, uh, unemployment. Uh, even, even if you see any, anything that below 3.5% is considered no, it's not unemployment. But ours is at 3.9%. It's, it's simply because mismatching people pick and choose and so forth. And overall, the economy is doing well. I, I don't see any problem. The requirement for foreign workers is almost about 800,000 now. The economy is booming better than it was earlier. And government have spent almost about 24 billion to help the industry. Over and above, when, when you look at the current uh, economic situation, the easiest way there should be more money on the ground to revive the economy faster than should. So we are just increasing about 300 ringgit from the basic which will help the will help to boom the economy tak kementerian buat segala-galanya walaupun walaupun kita lihat uh, membela nasib majikan adalah amat penting sekiranya tak ada tanpa majikan tiada pekerja maka okay, saya saya lihat keseluruhan kerajaan telah membelanja lebih kurang 24 bilion untuk membela nasib majikan dari segi sumbangan untuk uh, apa nama ni uh, subsidi upah uh, kita belanja uh, sehingga kita boleh menyelamatkan 300,000 syarikat Maka kita dah buat pelbagai aktiviti untuk uh, Membela nasib majikan Dan sekarang dah sampai masa kita kena pastikan Nasib tenaga kerja juga perlu dibela It's a balance set Bukan kita terus pergi uh, Menambahkan faedah dan buat program program untuk membela nasib tenaga kerja Tetapi kita dah buat segala-galanya untuk mempertahankan Memperkukuhkan uh, kedudukan majikan Macam-macam program uh, subsidi upah, hiring insentif dan kepelbagaian Kalau tidak, kalau tidak mungkin hari ini Kita tidak sempat memperkenalkan program-program seperti ini Sebab tanpa subsidi upah, 300,000 majikan nak gulung tikah